funny thing about looking at a mangrove forest is that at first glance, it doesn't look like much. It's just a bunch of trees growing in the water. Mangroves are the only trees on this planet that can grow in salt water. They build a system of elevated roots that are propelling the trees up into the air, but are also reaching deep into the sediment. You'll find corals growing on the roots themselves. And among the maze of roots is the home of so many species. I always love getting in the water and just floating down the mangrove, riding the current. It's like a roller coaster. And you just never know what you're gonna find. Lemon sharks in Bimini start their lives in the mangrove, and they spend six years in the mangrove system, hiding from the larger predators, learning how to be sharks, and then eventually getting big enough and courageous enough to leave the shelter of the mangrove to go out in the open ocean. Eventually, they will return to the same mangrove where they were born to mate and to start the reproduction cycle again. One of my favorite characters to encounter in the mangrove is the crocodile. There's something really primal about coming face to face with a crocodile in a mangrove forest. Such a mysterious animal, an animal that has survived for millions of years unchanged. It's perfectly adapted to live in a mangrove ecosystem. It can hide, it can hunt. There's just a lot of poetry to these animals. I was so excited to see the crocodile, and I got in the water. And I think he was as surprised to see me as I was to think to myself, I'm in the water with a crocodile. To find a crocodile in the gardens of the queen in the mangrove, to me has been one of the best encounters of my entire career. Mangroves are so efficient at sequestering carbon and producing oxygen that it is hard to imagine how our planet could maintain its balance without a healthy array of mangrove forest all around the globe. Everywhere you go, these forests are incredibly important for the local people, and they are very, very valuable for humanity as a whole. When we give them the recognition they deserve and we celebrate all the services they provide for our planet, instead of destroying them, we will cherish them and we will protect them. If you want to take a glimpse into the magic and mystery of the ocean, a great place to start looking is in the mangrove forest. It really is one of the most beautiful jewels of life on this planet. <laughs>